Welcome to Screening Room. I'm Robert Gardner. On this final program, I feel very fortunate because I'm surrounded by very dear friends. On my extreme left is William Alfred, who is a dramatist, having written The Agamemnon, or at least an adaptation of The Agamemnon, and Hogan's Goat. He's also a poet. He's a teacher of English. And he is some kind of a legend at Harvard as a professor of Anglo-Saxon and uh, English. Next to him is Octavio Path, who's from Mexico. He is also a poet and an essayist, having done such famous and remarkable books as The Labyrinth of Solitude. The other Mexico and a number of books of poetry, plays, and essays of all kinds. Most recently, Alternating Current, which has just come out. He's an anthropologist. He was a diplomat at one time. And he's a kind of an authority on surrealism. I'm not sure what this has to do with this program, but maybe something. The film we're going to see is called Dead Birds. I began it about 10 years ago in New Guinea. And it was completed in 1964. It's 83 minutes long. We're going to try to show it without any interruptions or any significant interruptions. The film, I suppose, can be said to be about the consequences of mortality, or at least about the consequences of men knowing that they must die. Let's go and see the film now. I'll come back with Octavio Path and Bill Alfred, and we'll talk about it later. In the uh, address which you uh, just gave at BU, Octavio, you drew upon uh, the question of mortality uh, in a way that uh, I was very fascinated in saying that I, th I think that in a, in a sense that we're we're lucky to n not live forever that uh, we must face death in order to live what did you mean and well, what, I, I, you what, know, what is it what does it mean here perhaps they're well, doing in the, the same in, thing in this case the, um, they know that they are mortal you said it very well at the end of the field the difference between animals and us is that we know that th that we are mortal and but that is n that could be only a mm, rather um, intellectual knowledge the important thing is that with this knowledge we make symbols metaphors and with these metaphors we make civilizations i think uh, levi strauss has said something rather important when he talked about the raw and the um, and the cook he was talking about the difference about, about the what uh, about the mm, mm, talking mm. about the raw the raw, the, raw, the, raw, the raw and the cooked. And the cooked. Oh, the raw and the cooked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was talking about the difference between nature and culture. Mm. But the line is the knowledge of death. Mm. And that culture starts with the knowledge of death. Do you think that our uh, culture doesn't handle this very well? Do you think that we know the difference between the raw and the cooked? Or between... Uh, or do, do we, have we confronted the fact of uh, our mortality properly in the... Let's say m modern life. Uh, I'm not sure. We hide death everywhere. It's yes, and we make uh, over the last 20 years there has there's been a cult of anger, which really uh, glorifies. Uh, uh, I think a thing that belongs to all humanity, which is a puzzling anger at our own mortality. Mm. He, in the, in this uh, society, it uh, it make it manifests itself in a warfare. But in our society, we, we, we have this, this notion that if you could really let the anger go, that you would be able to purify the society. So in a, in a, in a sense, the, you know, the ideas that are in modern uh, societies mm -hmm. now are very like that. Mm -hmm. At times I used to feel uh, when I saw the picture, when even when I was making it, that uh, it, perhaps it was a parable that would teach us something about mm. how to cope with uh, uh, violence mm. within us or with... Uh, the problem of death. Certainly the theme ha has to do with that uh, somehow, but uh, there are vast differences between uh, our way of handling our violence and their way of handling it. Oh yes, there are vast differences, but I do think that uh, that we have a tendency, uh, because of primitivism since the 18th century, to, uh, to celebrate certain primitive things which looking at this film can give you pause. Well, you know, um, the anthropology uh, is a very peculiar science because 
uh, in the moment that the, we can see film as your film, uh, with all the modern technique applied to the study of a society, of a closed society, this society is disappearing. Even the fact that you are using the, 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 the cinema as a way to know them, in this moment they are disappearing. Uh, it's a very strange as the, the subject of the object of anthropology yes. is uh, corrupt by anthropology itself. Yes. yes. Well, I think we have to stop our discussion of anthropology at this point. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, uh, this, we're at the end of the final program of this series. I want to thank you both very, very much for coming. I will not be back next week with another program, but perhaps another series someday.